Hi guys and welcome back to another video. My name is Underrated Hijabi and in today's video I'm going to be going to the weirdest restaurants in London. So the first location is inside Camden Market. I thought that this like you know toasty place was it because the place we're going to is called the cheese bar and it's supposed to be a restaurant just like everything on the menu is cheese and I thought that this was it the guy that was standing there but it actually wasn't so the cheese bar is like through here it's uh called the cheese bar if you guys haven't already caught the gist but everything is cheese cheese is life i love cheese cheese loves me there are so many different types of cheeses guys and i only know three cheddar gold golda and mozzarella those are the only ones i know um sometimes you can have the all mixture add a bit of chili mexican chili but that is about it this is the menu the menu is kind of cool i decided to sit outside because i don't know i just felt very uncomfortable it's a small space and everyone's just watching you let's walk through the menu the menu has different sections so it has the grilled cheese sandwiches plates um i don't know why i'm pointing at these things because really and truly the vegetarian option is very limited when you see a v on anything it is vegetarian so these are the cheeses which you can have like on a board so it's like a cheese board um and they have the best cheese from the uk you can have a sharing cheese board and they do have vegetarian rennet 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 is like it's like a piece of i think it's like a section of like the stomach of a cow so when it's a vegetarian i believe it's a section of like vegetables um the stomach area of the vegetable it's really difficult finding like what to get and the lady was so so helpful guys she found me two vegetarian things she did one thing for me where she uh she removed like the meat and she removed the rennet and she like changed it to something that is vegetarian i wouldn't really recommend this to people that eat halal food because you're not gonna find nothing like literally the only reason why this lady kind of was like i think she thought you know what she really wants to try this thing thank you so much this is your san ella cheese board with rose type of delight oh that is so good thank you it is my cheese board it is halal turkish delight some crackers and this is it's a molded goat's cheese this is literally the only thing that is vegetarian and i also have some british english mm. Mm. cheese smells so bad so no. It's creamy, the cheese. It smells really bad, but it doesn't taste bad. Oh, it's just so creamy. It's so, there's some weird sides. So, sour tangy. <laughs> very strong but the sweetness helps make it less sour. strong guys this smells sensational the cheese is nice it's very mature like there's potatoes on any If this onions, we taste the cheese, it's very bland. Not a lot of flavour. It's literally potato with some cheese. It's not that bad actually. Because it's like a garlicky cheese taste. It's very bland and it's giving like medieval vibes. It's giving Henry VIII like what you have on his table. I've got myself a cheesecake, as you guys can see, it is a vanilla cheesecake, let's give this a go. Oh, it's in there. It's lemon, it's a lemon cheesecake, that's always vanilla. That puree was very strong. <laughs> it's good. I'm now going to get myself some coffee. This is our next location, Attendant. Attendant is a cafe. It's a very weird cafe. Because in the 1870s, this was a men's loo. 
this is how it looked like scary and these are the urinals however over the period of two years this became a refurbished cafe but it still maintained its original urinals and also the urinal station with the walls and the flooring so they tried to restore it with actually the original toiletries <laughs> anyways this is a cafe which sells uh, coffee it sells croissants it also sells avocado toast this is the banana and chocolate slice and i also got a flat white that looks so good <laughs> this banana and chocolate cake was so moist guys and it was vegan it was so chocolatey the coffee was out of this world guys it was so nice and then this happened can you see it yeah and then i had to order myself another coffee guys this is probably the best coffee that i've tried like, I swear, like, I, I honestly, it was amazing. The cake, I'm gonna eat in a bit, but it was amazing. That was the best coffee I've tried in like a very long time. And he told me that it's a Brazilian coffee. The banana bread was amazing. Everything about it was amazing. Now I have my eye test. Lady Dina Cafe is a cat cafe. It is one of the oldest and longest running cat cafes in London, which opened in 2014. They foster, adopt and rehome rescue cats and have won awards for being the best cat cafe in London. I never knew cat cafes existed because it's a very weird concept. You know, going to a cafe and there's just like a variety of cats just roam around. As soon as you walk down the stairs you see a variety of people playing with cats. And I know that sounds really, really weird, but it's kind of cool because these cats are cats that have been rescued or, you know, fostered or adopted. So it's very nice that somebody could create a home for them. So it's a very interesting concept. And I really like the idea, like, I wish I had a cat. These are the two kittens. They're absolutely adorable. They're so energetic. This is the red velvet latte. This latte tastes like a red velvet or chocolate. It was so good, surprisingly. I had to order something because I felt like I had to get a drink and I know I already had two coffees but th realistically this is more of a hot chocolate than it is a latte. Do you know what I mean? that was cats were so well behaved and there was like a mixture there was only two kittens and the large ones just didn't seem interested um they were all quite cats it was a nice experience it just smelled a lot i don't think i would ever go back to a cat cafe um because i'd rather have my own cat <laughs> do you know what i mean but it's a really great way of getting cats off the streets and you know in a, an environment where people can play with them and enjoy their company and pet them and show them love we're gonna go and get ourselves some dinner in a very weird restaurant.
This is Inamo, which is a Pan-Asian restaurant located in Soho and various locations around London. It has a private games room where you can rent out to play games and cab karaoke and live watch live TV. However, it is well known for being the world's most interactive restaurant where you don't really need to communicate with any of the staff. Find your seat, order your food using the interactive board, play games. Everything here is interactive. You decide what you want. You can have the waiter only. Let's go from there. And you just go down. Thick. And if you want to add it, press add and it will go onto the section. And you can also request your bill. You can call waiter, send your order. I've ordered uh, lemonade, tiger roll, and Asian fries with spicy mayo. These are the fries that I got with this sauce and some more mayonnaise. Spicy. Let's go to the light like, pepper. You guys, I ordered raw sushi. It is very rubbery. Simon, it's a nice taste though. That sushi was good. Even though I don't really eat raw sushi. There is a great selection of games that you can play. You can even draw, um, just like how you would on paint. You know, you've got the brushes and you've got the colours and you could write whatever you want to write. There's so many games, guys. But most of these games are two players. So you're going to have to need a second player to play these games. I tried playing these games. Honestly, it wasn't giving what it's supposed to give. This is another game called Deflected. This reminds me of that game that we used to have on Nokia mobiles. But this one's a bit different. You're going to have to use both hands at the same time, like I am now. And then there's Tap, which I think is like some sort of a memory game. You know, you have to quickly tap, tap, tap. Pinball. This, um, I actually made the table bigger, as you guys can see. So you can increase the sizes of the table. Most of the games I didn't get, I'm not going to lie. Um, I, I'm not really a game player. <laughs> it's a fun experience. It's like you could just come here with like your friends and you guys can play games and order food. Bill. So guys, we have just uh, finished our one meal in Dimu Indom and the food was good. Now I'm thinking of like continuing on this challenge. I don't even know why. But we are going to be going to Enfield. <laughs> oh God! This is a hospital, you know. Right outside the hospital, there's a there's a whole kebab place, you know. Commercial road and that. But let's look at the menu. Bro, is it halal? Yo, way to guys. There is a whole bus. Oh, we're gonna go in there. Okay. Bro, this is scary. Hi, can I get the same wrap? <laughs> Lamb, yeah. I'm um, actually on a bus. <laughs> you have your utensils. Burger sauces, lights, people's rubbish. And you just find a location to sit at. I'm gonna sit, I wanna sit close. Look how big this is. This is massive. I'm gonna hit it spicy, this one left. Uh, 
this because everybody was getting it like all the guys in front of me so it was like hmm it must be really good um it tastes good but it's just me imagine sitting on a bus and there's no destination it's chilly the wrap is very nice, it's very salty, the meat is very very soft, it doesn't even feel like it's eating a kebab. Um, it's just they're very stingy with the sauce. Um, like literally, like can you see the little bit of chilli that I put? For the price, it is worth it. It's massive guys. Do you remember how long it was? For £8, I think it was 8 what's it going to cost me 9 so I'm guessing the drink is a pound. Like, you know, it's what minus one degrees in the UK. So, guys, I have. Oh my god, I smell of fried oil. Anyway, guys, I have finished my tour today of the weirdest restaurants in London. I just came out of this place called Last Stop Kebab. It will be my last stop of this video. <laughs> I smell of fried uh fried chips. I just smell like oil. And I get it. Like probably the ventilation goes through the bus <laughs> no tfl today's been a very fun day traveling around london and finding different weird restaurants or weird cafes it's really opened my eyes because i've never seen these places before and like i'm really glad that i've got the chance to visit them um i will be continuing on this video for a part two and i will see you guys on the next one i hope you guys enjoyed it comment down below if there's any of these restaurants that you would consider visiting Meow. Yeah.